Okay, I'll just say I haven't given up on boys. I'm about to be 19 on December 14th. I haven't given up on boys, but um, I just think boys. I'm getting God through that. So, like, I'm just going to focus on making myself clean on the inside and clean on the outside and, you know, do what I'm going to do. And if God has that in, you know, his plan for me to be a wife with kids, then that will happen. But I'm not worried about that right now. Wait, um, what's your name, my love? What's your name? San Quentin. Sang Queen, you are so young. You're itsy bitsy. You're 18. And you are wrapped up thinking about marriage and kids at 18. Why are you thinking about that right now? It's just so heavy right now, like in this generation. So that's why I was like, you know what, God, you can have that. It, just paint it, paint the picture for me. I don't wanna, I don't wanna know what it looks like until it happens. This is the time of your life where you mm -mm. should be discovering who you are and what you like. You don't even know what you like. That's like I told the other girl, you just yeah. left 15, 16, 17. You don't even know what's your, what is your, where do you want to go? Where do you want to travel? What's your favorite book? Are you in college? Who do you want to be? These are the things you should be thinking about. It's what I'm saying. And not marriage and kids. Don't you don't even that know. Uh, Ashley. Now, let's be let's be honest. Our grandmothers and great grandmothers was married even younger. 18, we in this generation, we made it seem like being married at 18, 19, 20 is just so young that we can't even fathom like being married that young. Our grandparents did it younger. This is true. Now we are not the same as our grandparents, but I'm just talking about the age wise. It's that's not that crazy. Right. And the young lady is a marriage minded. She's trying to date for marriage. That right. if that's what she's, if she wants to be married, she should be dating for marriage. That's true. That's what she should be. She shouldn't be out here having hot girl summers, running up her body count and things like that. It seems like her mentality, she wants to be a wife. That is a wife's thinking. Like, and let her find a a, a, a gentleman, a, a young man or whatever she's looking for boys. that wants she to marry boys. her and take her out of the dating game. Take her out. <laughs> no, see... You know, this comes from that thinking that a lot of our, you know, our sisters have that you can just one day snap into being a wife. Like it, it, it's it's a process. It's like a a training, like a skill set to a certain extent. So a lot of these marriages, or a lot of these women aren't marriage material, or their marriages don't last because they don't understand what it actually entails. They think like at some point after I had an X amount of hot girl summers and traveled the world and read all the books now i'll turn into this wife right. character or whatever and i don't think it actually goes like that i really kind of think it's more like in line like you said like it's a a lead up a build up like you you're trained you're familiar with it you know what it entails you're going after it like your whole life like you don't just you don't wake up one day and say i'm going to the nba like right. you got to You've been trained. You're seven years old. You had the ball in your hand. You went through all the ranks and went all the way up. You know what I mean? You don't just decide right. one day you're going to be this. It right. takes you know, skills training. Right. And this is uh, this is the um, the rhetoric that older women have been giving girls her age for the last part 50 years. You're too young to get married. You don't know no better. You need to go out here and be versed in the world and <laughs> have a have hot girl summers and and ride the d carousel mm -hmm. and the the girl party party body count and all of that stuff is extremely low party may even many, still be a virgin yeah. like she don't she don't have to go through the trauma and this is one of the things now as you as you have dating experience and had relationships and stuff like that, you, you realize, I wish I could have got the lessons without the trauma or the pain and hurt, you know, heartbreak. Right. I, 
I wish I could have got it without that. And so to tell the next generation of women, okay, this is the lessons that I wish I would have got at your age. So young lady, if you want to go get married and don't have to go through multiple boyfriends and trauma and heartbreak, you find a, 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 a man that loves you and want to marry you, go for it. Don't uh -huh. listen to these old women. Telling time. you it's it's too you too young. If that's what you are grown, you if you you can if that's the decision you want to make, make it. And but don't regret that decision later on in life, like Tia, right? Saying that that well, you are graduated from marriage and things like that. Me, you do not have to go through heartbreak. Let me, let me throw and, something else at you. And trauma and all of that. That's what they want you to think that you have to learn all of that. To get the get the lessons, learn from other people's mistakes. Go ahead. Let me let me throw something else at you. It might not even be a case of that, mm -hmm. as we know. You know, our youth nowadays are fast and moving around and doing things they shouldn't be. Maybe she yeah. did go through some things and she Maybe trying so. to, you know, walk it back. Yeah, like I don't want to go down this path. Maybe she had had a little couple, little you know what I mean, yeah, little episodes or something. You know, we are we, uh, these kids are. We got to give them the credit that they deserve. They're much more advanced, not in the wisdom, but into what they get into when, you know, they're moving around a little faster. So at 18, in today's time, it wouldn't be out of the realm. She might have did a little nasty couple, had a little nasty evenings in her little life, but she don't want to go right. down that path. Like, right. I'm going to the Lord. I'm trying to clean. You know, she's probably correcting herself beforehand yeah. if she didn't go through the trauma. Right. I right. mean, if she went through the trauma. And like you said, if she didn't, then she's trying to prevent it and, you know, lead right. a life going forward that I don't right. have to be into all of that. So it right. could go either way. You know what I mean? Either way, either way you look at it, she shouldn't be discouraged because no. she wants to get married at some point. It's not to say no. she thirsted for it, but she, you know, she know what she want to go in life. Right. So. And then the other part of it is having children. Mm -hmm. These are your fertile years and things like that. Now, mm -hmm. there are all types of issues that might arise as you get older as a woman, PCOS or other fertility mm -hmm. issues that might hit you, blindside you. You've mm -hmm. been waiting this whole time to have children and now you what? can't. It's not, and it doesn't have nothing to do with age sometimes. Right. Sometimes fertility issues might hit you before you turn 35. For sure. For you sure. don't know. Right. So if, if you want to go ahead and do it, you if you feel that you could be a mother and you have all of those resources for you to be a mother, go go do it in your fertile years. What are you right. waiting for? If right. you have a husband, now don't be out here at being a baby mama. But if no, you no. have a man that wants to marry you and then have children, you do it that as soon, sooner than later. Right. So right. fair enough. Let's continue. Oh, who you are fully yet. A wife. You can't you don't even know wife stuff yet. You don't know. You need more time, is what I'm saying. You need to do ice cream dates. You need to go to a festival and watch Christmas carols or you know the Rockettes on a day. Christmas carols? Y'all need carols? to walk around 42nd Street. Do kids do that anymore? Walk around 42nd Street Actually. or anywhere wherever you live. And that's the thing like I'm that's what I'm trying to figure out right now like what do I like? That's what my question was going to be like how do I figure out what I like? Cuz I don't know how to do that. Damn it. You try how stuff. Can we do that. Can we start there? Can we start there beautiful? Can we start slow? What do I like? And it don't have to be with all these girls on TikTok, like, oh, soft life, this, that. No. What do you like? You write that list. Not with TikTok in mind. Not with all of this stuff that you're hearing. What are she the look like she make a mean like little that TikTok. That make you though. happy. <laughs> okay? Yes, ma'am. Look, she went Can into we the little kid that? position. Oh, mm -hmm. Lord. Honey bunny. Okay, perfect. So you're going to come back. And you're going to update me. All right. And I want to hear five things that you like, you love to do. And five places you may want to travel. Can we do that? What is this? Yes, what is, what is homework that? assignment? Yeah, I look forward to seeing you again. <laughs> a college work. I'm giving up Bye -bye. goddamn homework. <laughs> Man. This is, this is her college 
work. Lord mm -hmm. have mercy. Mm -hmm. Honey bunny. I mean, I wouldn't say, okay, let me say this. Don't jump into marriage and you don't know yourself. So, sure. but you, you do have to be ready to be a wife. So, but that you should know that you should know that there shouldn't, nobody else should be able to tell you, oh, you too young and you this, that you should know. What? If you want to be a wife, you want to be a wife, but right. you have to know that, okay, I want to be a wife, but let me get the tools to prepare myself to be a wife. You talking about traveling and stuff like that. How is that going to help her be a wife? That girl's desire is to be someone's wife. So how about, okay, honey bunny, do you know how to cook? Uh -huh. Do you know how to clean? Do you know how to do child re rearing? Uh -huh. well, you know, how is you going to support your husband and things like that? You said, you mentioned the Lord. Is you, is you, um, do you know what your spiritual, what's the spiritual world as a wife? Now right. she did say, you don't know what it is to be a wife. But I'm saying it goes deeper than that. Is she ready to be a wife? It would be my concern. No, that's different. Not, like not, wanting not really to be something and right. being ready to be that right. are two different things. Like that's so not that's, the same. Yeah. That's why I said, are you ready to be a wife? That's and then what, are that's you preparing? What trying to say. Right. Yeah. Are you are you preparing yourself to be a wife and do things that prepare yourself to be a wife? Right, because she probably hasn't done that. That I probably can say not. that she probably hasn't done that. And then also get around women that are wives, right? And and learn from them, and you know, get under their toolage and things like that. And how do they operate with their husbands? How do they talk to their husbands? You know, and then you find out what you like, what type of man you want to be your husband. Okay, right. she Miss Susie told me, you know, Brad is a provider, he does this, he takes me on dates and things like that. I want a man just like that. I like that. <laughs> you yeah. know, I'm not saying you gotta go out here and date every man to find out what you need. I don't think you have to do all of that. I don't think so. I think that you can get under the toolage. You can see how married couples operate with each other and then see how you want, how you would want to operate with your husband. What type of husband do you want? Hmm. So go ahead, babe. No, that's that's about it for me. Any final nothing thoughts? Else. No, that's, uh, you know, like a little, little homie D clown over here. I don't know. She was, <laughs> you know, she was all right. Right. I mean, I she, think... she was on the right track. She's young. She's inexperienced. You know, if that's yeah. what she want to be, that's like telling the little kid you can't be a firefighter or you shouldn't. You should do like you know if that's what you want. If that's what you aspire to be, that's one thing. Right. She might not be nowhere near ready to do it. Right. I'm not saying that. Like don't right. misquote me. But if that's her end goal, then she should stay in that path. All that seeing the world and right. doing, that's, that's gonna not... get you bodies. Like that's that's, that's where the body start to stack up. Like right. you know what I mean? Yeah, you should know what you want, and you might have to break a, a egg or two to make the omelet. Mm -hmm. But don't all oh, you gonna go swerf up all the dinos and no, oh, no, nah, that's not that's not gonna do you any good. And again, like I said, I'm, I know Ashley believes this, but just what she said, and most mm -hmm. women do that. You're just going to one day roundabout find yourself being a wife like that. I don't think that that's how it works. Like you, you have to live a certain kind of, you know, there's a progression to it. There's a pathway to getting there. There's a mentality that comes with it. There's sacrifices, a lot that goes into it. So you're not going to live the hot girl summer for 25 years. And then all of a sudden, right. Midstream, just bend back around and all. Now I don't, I don't been everywhere on my checklist. So now I'm ready to be a wife. That that's right. not realistic. Right. And, and then I also, and I also want to say like it's you know it's he who finds a wife. So you can be a you can want to be a wife all day, every day, all of that. But I think you should be working on. I'm not gonna put an age no, a age on it because I think it happens for different women. You know, you may not be prepared to be a wife, even though you want to be a wife. You mm -hmm. not ready yet. 
So, and it doesn't have anything to do with the age. At 18, right. she might be ready. Like, really. Maybe. Right. Your life. But mm -hmm. what I'm tr trying to say is that in the midst of waiting for this man to find you, you do have to be available to be found. Mm. And then you also have to be ready or preparing yourself. So doing the things that wife wives normally do so that when he comes along, he finds you to be a wife. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not like he's going to find you on a stripper pole or he's going <laughs> to find you in a, a hot girl summer. He's going to find you riding the, the D carousel. He's not going to think that you're a wife. Right. When he comes along and finds you nope. doing these things. That's true. So do wifely duties, like not wifely things like right. cooking, cleaning. You are, you already have you a schedule for cleaning. You keep your house um, nice and neat and, and things like that. You cook. You have some recipes to throw down in the kitchen and things like that. Now, we know that being a wife is not just cooking and cleaning. It's more than that. So spiritually... You know, mm -hmm. are you in tune with the word in the Lord to, like I said, to know your spiritual role as the wife? Mm -hmm. Are you reading those, uh, reading up on the scripture? Are you reading up on the wives in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Or I don't know what religion she is. I'm a Christian, so I'm coming from the Bible. <laughs> so are you reading up on, you know, those wives in the Bible, how they operated with their husband, how they um, served the Lord? in a wifely role and things like that. So I'm just saying, these are things that you do so that when he comes to find you, you are ready. You are a wife. So. Yep. Yep. Bingo. Nailed it. So guess that'll be it for us. You heard what we think. More importantly, we want to know what you guys think. So get down there in the comment section. Let us know if you agree, disagree. We were on base, off base. We are 360 degree thinkers on this platform. Free thought, always promoted here. Uh, sub up on your way out. Leave a like if you so choose to. And uh, we'll be back real soon with some more of this day and show foolishness. We thank y'all for coming out this evening. Y'all be safe. Have a good night.